Hello, my name is Kimberly Sandler. I'm an artist and an educator, and I teach visual arts at Arbor Heights Elementary. I'm here to do a drawing lesson with you, but it's not a drawing lesson where we're going to be drawing from our imagination. This lesson is going to be from observation. That means that you're drawing what you see and only what you see. You're going to need a few things. One, a pencil. And if your pencil doesn't have an eraser, even better. If you don't have a pencil, feel free to use a pen, a marker, a crayon, anything that makes a mark will do. You'll also need some paper. Now, if you don't have paper, don't panic. I'm about to show you some alternatives that work just as well. You can use a brown paper bag from the market and take it apart, and there you go. You have a big piece of drawing paper. You can also take envelopes and take them apart. Interesting how on the other side there's a color sometimes and a pattern. <laughs> Maybe we'll use that for something else. You can use junk mail, or you can also use paperwork that you find around the house that's no longer needed. Just make sure that you ask your grown-up first. The last thing you'll need is two to three objects to set up for a still life. The still life is going to be what you're going to draw from observation. Take your objects that you have chosen for your still life and arrange them. Instead of just putting them next to each other, make them touch or maybe put something on top of something else. That's called overlapping and it's going to make your drawing a whole lot more interesting. Take a moment to really look at what you're about to draw. What do you notice? Do you see any shapes? I also want you to look at the negative space. The negative space is the space between and around the object. I find using negative space to be really helpful when I'm drawing from observation. I'm going to give you a, some time to go gather your materials and then we'll come back together and we'll start with our warm ups. I like to do three one minute warm ups. This helps me relax, it helps me loosen up, and when you draw for a minute, there is just not enough time to worry about small details or mistakes. I draw as fast as I can and try to get as much information on the paper as possible. You wanna warm up with me? Let's go. As you draw, you want to make sure that your eyes are looking at your still life just as much, if not more, than on your paper itself. This will help you draw what you see and only what you see. That minute goes by really fast. I encourage you to do that warm up two more times. Then you'll be ready to start your final drawing. I start my final drawing just like my warm up. I try to get as much information on the paper as possible. Then I move into adding a little bit more details and refining what I have drawn so far. Your final drawing should take between 10 minutes to 20 minutes to 30 minutes to 45 minutes, really however long you feel like you can keep going. It's completely normal to get frustrated. And if you do feel frustrated, it's okay to take a break. I find observation drawing to be really calming and really meditative, and I hope that you find that too in your work. Today, we learned a lot. We learned about observation drawing, which is drawing only what you see. We learned about setting up a still life, about overlapping, 
and we learned about negative space. I wonder next time, will you be able to notice details about objects that you haven't seen before? Will you notice the negative space between and around objects? Thank you so much for joining me today and happy drawing. <laughs>